Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As we come to the end of the six weeks since we initiated our response to this global health crisis, I think it's a good time to pause and reflect on what's been accomplished. And before I go on any more, I do want to say congratulations to Army Colonel, doctor, and astronaut Drew Morgan, who just completed his 270 day, 272 day successful journey on the International Space Station, and he returned to Earth safely this morning. Now, this morning he was met by Dr. Rick Schuring, who's a USU faculty. He was at his side and he represented the university very well. So congratulations and welcome home. Over the last six weeks together, we've accomplished during that time, all the critical tasks of transforming the university and our educational programs for the remainder of this academic year and really the beginning of the next year for some of our programs. We've graduated many of our students from the School of Medicine and the Graduate School of Nursing, the class of 2020 early, so that they could assist in the fight against COVID-19. And we're preparing to graduate the remainder of the GSN class in the very near future. We successfully made the necessary transition to a virtual working environment in order to help the university stay open for business. Now, some may argue that that's definitely not business as usual, but others would disagree. Courses of instruction are still taking place. Exams are being administered. Dissertation defenses are taking place. Our new students are being accepted here. Collaborations are continuing. Research is ongoing. Contracts and financial operations are still also ongoing. Now, physical distance does keep us apart, but we remain virtually connected and engage with each other as we continue to move forward on a daily basis to accomplish our unique and very important mission here at the university. To say that I'm very proud of our entire university community is an understatement. We've all come together in the midst of an unprecedented and extremely difficult situation to do what's best on behalf of our multiple missions in education, in research, in leadership, and also, importantly, in service to our nation. This has really been an all hands on deck effort. And our university personnel are working to find effective treatments, medication trials, develop vaccines, creating personal protective equipment by 3D printing, and testing it and other life-saving equipment. It's been developed by some others. We're sequencing the virus genome to identify human genetic factors that influence the COVID-19 susceptibility and severity. And we're developing products such as COVID-19 practice management guidelines, very nice bioethics guidelines, and training packages for use throughout the military health system. And importantly, we're sharing our expertise with other institutions, both federal and non-federal, all this for the common good. As I mentioned just a few days ago, we have an incredible opportunity here to look at the lessons learned and to make improvements, advancements, and to affect change in a positive way for the future. This is not the first pandemic and it won't be the last. So therefore, it's critical that we record all of these efforts, not only for the university, but as a foundation for the military health system. Now, with that in mind, I've asked Dr. Charles Rice and Dr. Dale Smith, and they've agreed to lead the COVID-19 After Action Report Committee to capture these key university actions. Now, you'll be hearing more about that important committee in the near future. Now, while we continue to make remarkable strides here at the university, I know there are feelings among of, uh, some of our personnel here in our community about the effects of this pandemic. Disruptions to our lives, it can be disorienting. So it's vitally important that we take care of ourselves and our loved ones during these challenging times. Our university community is strong. It's also very resilient. And I can assure all of you that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. We will return to the campus and we'll be together again, but only when it's safe, and when our senior leaders give us the green light to do so. So in the meantime, I highly encourage all of you to reach out to your coworkers and your classmates, your family and your friends. You don't have to talk about work. You can just say hello. Those folks that you're used to seeing in the cafeteria, in the classroom or the labs that you haven't seen for a while, it's okay to give them a call. And I encourage you to do that. Please do reach out. I want to make sure that no one feels that they've been left behind or alone. 
And as a last thought, I want to emphasize the use of our COVID-19 intranet site as your primary touchpoint for information. This site is regularly updated and addresses a variety of topics, it includes distance learning, technical support, academic programs, any number of topics that you may find of interest. Uh, it's also got some mental health resources and a variety of regulations and policies, of course. So please take a moment to take a look at that, and we appreciate your feedback and input. I think that all of you should be very proud of the incredible contributions that USU personnel continue to make to this national response. So I ask you to please stay safe, and I sincerely want to thank you all for everything that you do.